You can hold on to your uh, red snapper, or you can go for what's in the box that Hiro-san is bringing down the aisle right now! What's it gonna be? I'll take the box! The box! You took the box! Let's see what's in the box! Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! Hi everyone, welcome back to Comic Book Issues. I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek. And it's time for our final unboxing video. Yes, it's true. 2015 was the year of unboxing, and we had some great ones like Geek Fuel and Loot Crate. And we had some bad ones like... We TAN! And we had some mediocre ones like the Marvel Collector's Core and Nerd Block. But this is comic book issues, and for the final unboxing video, I decided to take it back to comic books. This is Comic Bento, a subscription service that offers you four graphic novels a month, all based on a theme. For December 2015, the theme is Throwbacks. So what graphic novels did I get? Let's head over to the Magic Table and find out. Hi everyone, welcome back one mo time to the Magic Table. Today we're unboxing the December edition of Comic Bento. They promised us a kind of a Golden Age themed with a twist here. So let's see what four trade paperbacks we got. Do I have them already? Well, that's always a possibility. Let's... Okay. I'll kind of do this blind here. And it's all sealed up, but that's okay. Well, they're big ones. I'm not. I'm trying not to look at them. Let's... The first one is. Oh my God! <laughs> There's a bit of irony to this because this is the very same graphic novel I gave to my dad for his birthday this year. So. Uh, I didn't read it myself. Uh, I kind of glanced at it, but this was a birthday gift to my dad, so now I have my own copy to read, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what else. It's the fifth Beatles, the Brian Epstein story. He's the man who discovered the Beatles. He was the nightclub manager who made them famous and kind of saw to their rise and uh, passed away at a very early age. This has won a lot of awards. They're going to be making it into a movie. This is a Dark Horse one. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Young Blood. A Rob Liefeld book. How about that? Although he's not uh, doing this one yet. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's just doing the covers on this one. This is volume one. Joe Casey is writing this one. I like Joe Casey's stuff. Derek Donovan. Youngblood was kind of, you know, if you're too young to remember the launch of Image, I mean, Rob Liefeld was the bomb at the time he left X-Force. And everyone wanted to read Youngblood, and then it just kept getting later and later, and the books weren't coming out on time, and... Rob's kind of a joke nowadays, but at the time he was one of the hottest things around. So we're, I don't know if this is golden age per se. This is more like, wow, look at, look at some classic teams in a classic way. Uh, Battlestar Galactica by Dynamite, volume one memorial. This is the original Battlestar Galactica, not the uh, reboot from a few years past. Dynamite, uh, I think Alex Ross must own a piece of Dynamite because he's always doing covers for them. Uh, by Abnett and Lanning. Oh, wow. Uh, DNA, who were some of my favorite sci-fi writers until they split up a few years ago. The last thing they did was that awful Guardians of the Galaxy prelude that I reviewed. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what they did with the classic Battlestar Galactica characters. I don't know who drew it exactly. Cesar Rezak. And it looks like we've got the X-Men for the last thing. Let's take a look at this. It is The Uncanny X-Men by Claremont and Byrne with George Perez. Now, this is the team that put the X-Men on the map. Chris Claremont, John Byrne, back when they were still relevant. But, uh, I, I kid, but uh, they're a classic team. I'm looking in the back. I might have read all these. This looks like it's the, uh, it's not exactly the Dark Phoenix saga, but it is like the birth of the Phoenix shows up. Proteus shows up, who's one of my favorite villains. They take on the White Queen and the uh, Hellfire Club. So there's a whole bunch of classic stories. This is some of the best X-Men stories you'll ever read. Is when Chris Claremont was at his peak. 
Then when he left, when uh, Jim Lee and he did that new X-Men comic, he did the first three issues and left. And he came back once or twice, but it was never the same. This is Chris Claremont at the height of his powers. So I haven't read any of these. I may have read some of the stories in here, but I don't have them in a collection form. And we get, this was the, uh, this was the throwbacks, not Golden Age. I'm sorry, it was throwbacks. So we have a bunch of classic X-Men. We've got a classic sci-fi series reimagined. We've got the uh, classic Image Comics superhero team, the one that started it all in a new form again. And we've got a classic musical group covered in a new way as we see them through the eyes of their manager. So this is actually a pretty nice collection, all things considered. I've actually been kind of curious about the Young Blood relaunch. Abbott and Lanning are solid. Claremont and Byrne, you can't do better for X-Men stories. So this is a good collection. I'm very happy with this collection. Uh, I'm a little surprised I didn't get anything from Valiant because they're normally in here. But otherwise, yes, this is a uh, good collection from Comic Bento, the throwback edition for December 2015. Let's head back to the comic wall. Well, that's Comic Bento. Uh, I was very pleased with what I received in there, especially that fifth Beetle hardcover. That's an enormous book, and it's $50 retail. Yes, you can get it online cheaper. But given that I paid $25 for this box, you can consider that almost alone worth the value of what you paid. Uh, usually you get one Marvel in there, one Dark Horse, one Valiant. I was very surprised I didn't get a Valiant book this time. And then one of the independent publishers like Dynamite or Boom or what have you. Uh, maybe you only get trade paperbacks for certain stories. Maybe you only get trade paperbacks for certain series. If that's the case, then this probably isn't for you. But if you just want four books to read a month, why not try Comic Mento? Everything was expertly shipped and packed. There were no dings or dents. And uh, I was really pleased with the quality of the books I received. Uh, I didn't have any of them, and I can't deny that this was a good box. You're not going to get a good box every time. I think we've learned that through this unboxing series. Occasionally you get a clunker. I say lovey. That said, this is 2015, the year of unboxing videos. I thank you for taking this journey with me. This is Comic Book Issues, and I'm your host, The Last Angry Geek.